Hey you guys, it's Christine and I'm down here in Marathon, Florida. I haven't stayed in Marathon before, but we rented this nice house on the water for about two weeks. We got the boat here, which is great. We're taking a little break from Key West because we were hopping around there for a little while. It's nice to explore a new area. But I'm gonna tell you guys about a recent trip that we had in Key West. This day we were going to be doing some rod and reel fishing but we needed some bait. So we went out there and hunted for some threadfin herring and got plenty of bait, great bait for tuna. Our plan was to go out and go catch some tuna that day, so. All right, we got our chum bag right here and we're gonna try to catch some bait. Oh. Catching. Those are thread thin herring. After we caught our thread thin herring, we went ahead further offshore to our magical fishing spot. I'm not gonna tell you guys where that is. So our plan was to originally be fishing rod and reel, but we got all the way out here and the water clarity was just amazing. The water was so clear. So Judah jumped in and decided to do a couple of drifts. And fortunately I have another ear infection in my left ear. So I'm gonna stay on the boat today. I'm not gonna dive. I'm gonna be the captain. And hopefully Judah comes back up with some fish. We like to keep our dive gear on the boat at all times, just in case we want to jump in. And since the water has been horrible lately and we got out there and it was clear, we decided that spear fishing was a better alternative than rod and reel fishing that day. So Judah went ahead and suited up, jumped in the water. We thought it'd be best if one person was in because, you know, it's not very safe for two people to be in the water at one time and nobody really driving the boat. We're just drifting. Yeah, not very safe. And I had an ear infection that day too, so I thought I might as well be the captain, drive the boat for him while he goes and shoots all the fish. <laughs> but it's okay because some days it's vice versa. So Looks like there's a lot of uh, what? bait right here. doing a couple of drifts, he teared it up. <laughs> he was on fire that day. He came back first with two kingfish. All right, you guys, we got two big kingfish. We got dinner. Check out these guys. Not complaining. There is plenty of fish in the fish bag. Judah gets back in the water and after only a couple of minutes I see his flow shoom, flying and then it digs in the water. I'm like okay he definitely has another fish already. All right I see Judah's float in the water. It looks like he got another fish. Gotta go pick up these splashers. It's okay. It's right there. I got the gap ready. 
Looks like a black man. Yeah! <laughs> That's a nice one. That's even better than what I shot. Yeah, this one's pretty big. Woo! There's blood everywhere. <laughs> that there is. Beautiful fish. Big old king bass eating good light. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Spear fishing and rod and reel fishing, baby. Better get home. We got some fish to clean. It ended up really being an epic day. Two kingfish, two blackfin tuna, and tuna tartare and tataki for dinner. Hey, Kimber, did you like that tuna tartare and tataki? I think she did.